I'm such a huge fan when it comes to books for transforming one's healthy lifestyle. Read diet books, exercise books, all great stuff. But what I'm a real huge fan of is general overall success books like this one, The Three C's of Success. Because then it, you can take the principles and apply them to darn near anything. So I can improve my diet, I can improve my exercise, I can improve my job, I can improve relationships, everything all at once. Get more bang for your buck that way. This video series we're talking about the three C's of success in diet and exercise. First C being creativity. Creativity, very important for diet and exercise success. Must have it. Contrary to popular belief, because usually what ends up happening is you read these exercise books or you're given a program or a diet plan or whatever and the instructions are, here's the plan, follow it to the letter, don't deviate from it. Just, I guess that's more of what I've always kind of understood. And like, well, can I be a little creative? No, you can't be creative. You have to do it as I've laid it out for you. Don't move the exercises around. But I want to do it with dumbbells. No, oh, you have to do it with barbell. Yeah. Horrible thing to do is to not apply creativity and stay on the straight and narrow because what it inevitably brings about is friction within one's lifestyle. The friction of time constraints, financial constraints, energy constraints, all of these things eventually they cause more stress upon your life. And you're like, but, 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 and either you break, or something breaks, or you give up and you're right back to square one, which is where you started. Terrible situation. If we apply creativity, we're no longer trying to force a round peg into a square hole. We can mold and shape that peg and say, okay, well, in this program, there's this I like, but that I didn't like so much. So how can I take, you know, less of that and more of this, and I'll change this around and put that over there, and da 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 da, da and you make your own custom solutions that are gonna fit you like a glove, and that's what's gonna bring about your ultimate success. So instead of having friction and then going back to square one where you started, you have friction, you go ahead over the obstacle, and you keep progressing down the road. Only possible with creativity. Not possible if you're like, I have to stay on the straight and narrow regardless of what happens in my life. Um, the thing that's also great about it is when you're making these changes and you're making these adaptations to, f to get your own custom fit is you're owning the program okay so it's no longer trainer X's program or celebrity Y's diet program or whatever it's your program you own it you take complete control of it and you're no longer a puppet on the strings you're the puppeteer making your own shot calling your own shots in your life very empowering very empowering and then finally of course is it's adaptive for long-term success because even even people have success for years Eventually the friction and the stress breaks them down. But if we can apply creativity to our dietary and exercise per preferences and keep things adapting, no matter what happens in our life, we can keep progressing on and on and on, which is what I go into more detail, the Red Delta Project with the Indestructible Diet and Exercise Program. So that's why creativity must have it for long-term success and satisfaction with dietary and exercise programs. Next we'll be discussing how character the other C is incredibly important when it comes to staying healthy and eating well. Till then, be fit, live free.